Hey everyone, Mystic here. Welcome back to the Should I Buy series where I review items in Growl Era. Each item is rated on its usefulness to the player, its rarity in the game, and the demand it has with the player base. Afterwards, I speak to the price of the item and then give my opinion on whether or not it's worth spending your precious shells on. Before I get into the video, I'd like to apologize for the lack of content this prior week. I needed to get ahead on content because I'll be changing my upload schedule. Videos are now going to be posted every Wednesday and Sunday. This weekend's special announcement video will still be happening. I'll be presenting my new Mystic events. It will explain how they work, how to play them, and an overall overview on what they are. Anyways, let's get into this video. Today we're going to be reviewing Bunny Hammer. I chose this item because lately it's been a hot seller as part of the horde was released, so I felt it necessary to educate everyone as a lot of people will be buying them. Starting off with usefulness, I think it's pretty obvious where this item is going to land. Bunny Hammer doesn't look like anything that'll be doing a lot of damage, and that holds true. It deals 8 damage and has the normal hammer attack speed, which is generally described as slow. When attempting to kill crabs or players, it really just doesn't get the job done fast. You're better off using an 8 damage dagger you find in tables for a few hundred shells than using Bunny Hammer for anything to do with killing. Because of this, Bunny Hammer only scored a measly 4 out of 10 in usefulness. Bunny Hammer, like most other supers, was released in auctions. Bunny has been out longer than trade tables, so the exact number is pretty much unknown. However, a recent horde of 13 was seen, and thus we can estimate Bunny is around that amount in-game. Bunny Hammer is hoarded quite frequently, and that makes it seem a lot more rare than it truly is. Because Bunny can be found extremely easily, I can only give it a 3 out of 10 in rarity. I feel Bunny Hammer's lack of rarity actually hurts its demand. Items like this that don't have any value in the graphical department nor the usefulness department thrive off the item being rare to be desired. Because Bunny Hammer doesn't have that quality, it also suffers in how much people want it. Bunny Hammer's saving grace is that the price is low enough that people can find ways to profit with it when starting out their profit journey. This boosts Bunny Hammer's demand score to a good 6 out of 10. The price of Bunny Hammer is the primary reason I made this video. It is such an unstable price that by the time this goes out, the price could have dropped exponentially. Bunny has been worth 5k and has been worth 30k. It really depends on the hoard status of it and whether it has been auctioned recently. Currently, the price is around 12 to 13k because not too long ago the 13 hoard of bunny hammers was released. I will say though, it is ready to rise as they begin to be hoarded once again. My opinion on bunny hammer is interesting. It scored absolutely awfully with a combined point total of only 13 out of 30. However, I still think bunny hammer is an okay item. At this very moment, it is a definite buy. However, if we take out the exact circumstances and tables currently, in my opinion, it's just not worth spending those hard-earned shells on just to be disappointed. Yes, it is an item that can be profited from, but if you're wanting it for your collection, it just never really has a place. The graphics and colors don't impress me, and it'll never be an item people want super badly. Anyways guys, that's it for this episode of the Should I Buy series. I hope you guys enjoyed my return to the YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, especially if you're new. Also, comment down below your thoughts on Bunny Hammer as I'd love to hear them. Stay tuned to the channel for more Should I Buy episodes and videos in general soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.